Are you flying with Turkish Airlines soon? In this video, I'll show you what to expect on a 14-hour flight with this company where I'll review amenities, cabin crew service, food, in-flight entertainment, and much more. So stay with us for this review. I love flying with Turkish Airlines because the check-in luggage allowance, even for economy class, is to baggage of 23 kilograms each, a carry-on of 8 kilograms, and of course a personal item. This time I only checked in one luggage of 15 kilograms, and my personal item, which of course I'll take with me in cabin. And I just wanted to ask, how much was the upgrade for business class? Because since I booked this trip basically just two days ago, because literally it's like an emer a family emergency trip, so I just booked right now. And I couldn't even book the extra leg seats, which I usually book when I have long haul uh, flights. But in this case, it was $1,000 to upgrade to business class. And I'm not really sure if I want to spend that much money. So I'm still thinking about it, but I don't think I will do it. So let's see. <laughs> and also in case that you're wondering how much I paid for this last minute ticket, actually I found a really good discount compared to, to some other days. And also maybe it helped that I really needed uh, for these exact dates and I was lucky. So, so basically I just found round trip a ticket from Istanbul to Mexico City and then from Mexico City to Istanbul all direct flights for 36,000 liras which is like $1,100 which to be honest in my opinion it's quite affordable because for some other dates even one day after or one day before the day that I'm departing they were double the price so i guess i was lucky and and that my day they had discount so yeah i mean that that's what i paid for a last minute ticket now i would like to give you a little review of turkish airlines so you can have an idea why usually this is a very good airline so basically what Turkish Airlines has is that also there are some awards for the for the flight companies and for example this is called Skytrax which you can call it like the Oscars of the airlines so basically Turkish Airlines is on the top 10 in several categories like for example these ones some of those categories are the top 10 airlines in the world where Turkish Airlines is in the sixth place also is in the world's best in-flight entertainment award and this one in the sixth place as well best business class airline lounges but for this video we're, we're going to be reviewing the economy class or the tourist class and for this specific category also turkish airlines has some awards like for example the world's best economy class airlines of 2023 where turkish airlines is in the sixth place also it holds the best economy class airline seats the best economy class airline catering and best economy class airline in Europe of 2023. I want to tell you as well that this that this review is basically my own experience. Let's remember that not every person has the same the same trip. Like for example, my experience can be a good one, but maybe for some of you, if you have already flown with Turkish Airlines, probably you had a very bad experience because maybe you got some lo some luggage lost or maybe broken. But at the end of the day, every person has their own experience. Here in this video, I will be documenting everything. So also in case that you will be flying with Turkish Airlines for the very first time, you can also have a general idea of what the airline and the service and the cabin crew is like. Also, probably some of you might be thinking that this is like a sponsored video because I remember on my Qatar Airways video where I am reviewing the airline, some of you were commenting that it was a paid video, a paid review, but no, I wish it was actually. So Turkish Airlines, if you're watching this video, please sponsor me because uh, seriously, like I I promote you a lot because I'm a, I'm a frequent flyer, so I really like your services. But no, guys, I mean, like now speaking seriously, I'm not being sponsored. I fully paid for my own pocket for this flight and any other. Yes, I'm a frequent flyer with Turkish Airlines, but I have never been sponsored by them. So here I'm just documenting my own experience so you can have a general idea. 
And of course, I'm still waiting for my for my exact date. So I'm just filming right now. But as soon as we pour it, which probably it will be like in one more hour. Of course, I'm going to be showing you everything about the amenities. So in this video, I will be covering like the in-flight entertainment, the, the flight cabin service, the food and overall the whole flight from Istanbul to Mexico City, which in total, it will be a 14 hour flight. It's a direct flight. So I will be showing you everything. And well, I just boarded my plane and I want to show you all the amenities that they gave that they gave us. So they were giving us like this headset for the inboard entertainment. Also, they gave us this little blanket and of course one little pillow, which this one will be very useful for me because for the very first time ever, I forgot mine at home. So this will be very useful this time. And well, the seats, I cannot say much because I mean, these are like the economy class. There's enough space I guess so we will see after five or six hours how my legs are gonna be feeling and the cabin crew already gave us a bag and inside the bag we have socks we have slippers we have a lip balm I mean that one is very useful especially during the flights at least in my case I always get my lips really really bad so that one will be very helpful also we have some toothbrush and the toothpaste and for the eyes for sleeping I brought mine anyways but I will keep that one as an extra and well, here we have the entertainment. It seems really good. As you can see here, we have different languages. We have in Turkish, Spanish. In this case, I will choose the English one. And here, as you can see, here we have the inboard ent entertainment. So we have all of these movies. It seems to, to have a good catalog with different titles, which is good because this will be a very long flight. So I will need to stay awake also to avoid the jet lag. So yeah, I mean, it seems really nice. I will tell you about it later on and how many movies I watched once I arrived in Mexico. And something that I would like to share with you is that I guess it's my lucky day because even though I couldn't buy the extra room seat, we just got told that, we were just told that uh, the flight is, is fully boarded already. And let me show you something. Yes, as you can see, no one is next to me, so that will give me the, the opportunity just to stretch my legs, even lay down, so this life, it will not be as bad as I thought. About three hours after we took off, we were given our first full meal. I chose the Turkish meatballs called Inegel Köfte with rice and grilled tomato. Hummus with beans was available as a side. Also a tomato, cucumber, onion, and lettuce salad. And my favorite part was this dessert. Snacks are also available at any time during the flight. So four hours later, I got a cheese sandwich and a chocolate vanilla cake. And finally, we are just two hours away from Mexico City and we just got our breakfast. So as you can see, we were given a mini traditional Turkish breakfast, like for example, some cheese, cucumber, black olives and tomatoes, also bread, butter and cherry jam. Here we have yogurt and dry fruit, my orange juice and some scrambled eggs with ham. In my opinion, this is a very small portion, but that's what we got. And before we land, I wanted to have my last Turkish tea because I won't be able to have it for the next three weeks which is the time I'll be staying here in Mexico. And well, and before we land, I want to, to share my overall review about the amenities, the, the flight attendant service, everything. So for this Turkish Airlines flight, it was a 14 hour flight from Istanbul to Mexico City, direct flight, no, no connection or anything. So overall, I want to start with the flight attendants. They, they were really nice, like all, all the cabin crew, they were amazing. And probably with me, it was a little bit different because I noticed that as soon as I will start, as I was speaking in Turkish with them, they were more smiley and they were chatting a little bit more with me. But in general, I also saw that they were treating the other passengers, the other passengers very good. So yeah, I will I will give a 10 points to, to Turkish Airlines cabin crew. In, in reality, they were doing really, really good. 
when it comes to the flight entertainment, I know that I told you at the beginning of this video that I was going to tell you how many movies I watch, but I'll be very honest with you. I was dead. I was super tired because since I since I told you this, I basically booked this trip two days ago, so I was like crazy the days before trying to fix all my things. So as soon as as we as we departed, as soon as we took off, I I just slept. So basically, I didn't watch any movie, but for I. For what I was able to see is that they have a really large catalog, especially from action and sci-fi movies. So I'm sure that you will not get bored uh, during your flights. As well, let me talk a little bit about the seats comfort. And these are not very, very comfortable, as for example with Qatar Airways, that I also recently traveled with them back in, in November. But overall, I can give them, like from 5 out of 10, I can give them maybe an 8, 8.5. Yes, they are comfortable, but maybe what it helped me is that in reality, I have no one next to me. So my lane of three seats are is empty. I'm the only one, as you can see here. Look, one, two, three. There is literally no one. So that really helped me to change position, to stretch my legs, to move a little bit more often. So that is why I don't feel that tired from my legs, especially from my knees. However, I'm pretty sure if those seats were, were full, I'm pretty sure that the story could have been totally different. But overall, they are fine. But I'm not sure if for a 14 hour flight or longer, I'm not really sure if you will feel very comfortable in these economy class seats. And when it comes to the general amenities, well, as I told you before, also here they give you like a little bag with some uh, personal hygiene articles and for your comfort as well as in many other airlines. I really appreciate this kind of detail because it really helps the passengers. The only thing is that I realize is that in some other uh, long flights that I have taken with Turkish Airlines, we were giving like Turkish design little bags, like with Turkish motifs, you know, and those were really beautiful, really nice, which I am still using nowadays, even I have one in my check package with my skincare and, and everything. And this time they just gave us like a very plain bags, you know, like with gray colors, red colors, they're still very nice. But of course, since I have already seen the other with the Turkish motifs, I would have liked more that type of little bags. But overall, everything was really good. And to finish with this overall review, I want to tell you about the food. Let's be honest, we can't really expect too much from, from foods at the airplanes because at the end of the day, they are, most of the time, they are really bad quality. It is already frozen, frozen and preheated food, so the flavor is mostly gone by the time it is served to the passengers. However, I got a little bit disappointed because, to be honest, the portions are not as big as I was expecting, especially comparing that with Qatar Airways, which we recently traveled with them. The portions were way bigger and the food was a little bit better than in Turkish Airlines. So here with Turkish Airlines, I, what I really liked were the desserts during the dinner and the breakfast. Those ones, I love them. But the food, to be honest, I passed. Like, I just ate it because I was really hungry, but other than that, I didn't really enjoy it that much. And overall, if I if I will keep flying with Turkish Airlines, absolutely I would, because Turkish Airlines is a, it's overall, it's a very good airline. Uh, as I also mentioned before, I'm a frequent flyer with them, especially in domestic flights in, in Turkey. So yes, absolutely, I will keep flying with them. Uh, like the flights are good, comfortable, we know their services already. And also let's remember that Turkish Airlines is one of the top airlines in the world. So they also have a large variety and their list is huge for all the destinations they travel to. In fact, Turkish Airlines is the only airline to fly to the most destinations around the world. If I'm not mistaken, I think like a, like more than a hundred different countries they fly. So whatever you want to go, just check if it's available with Turkish Airlines. If it is, I highly recommend you flying with Turkish Airlines. And just before I was finishing recording this video, as I told you before, that as soon as a, as a cabin crew realized that I was able to speak Turkish and that basically I was speaking in Turkish with them, one of them almost at the end of my flight, he just approached me to my seat and he gave me, on, uh, on behalf of the whole cabin crew, they gave me this little gift. So inside this one, there was this little card. So as you can see, this is the Urta Mosque, the Bosphorus Bridge and, and the shores of the Bosphorus, which is very beautiful. And here basically it says 
the route that I'm flying, the date, Istanbul, Mexico, the date, and basically like a little thank you paragraph, like thank you for choosing that, and and, and like that. So, uh, Turkish Airlines cabin crew, thank you so much. You were amazing, and of course, I will keep flying with you. Hopefully, I will see you once again in some of my of my flights. After 15 hours, I have just arrived in Mexico City and my checked-in luggage arrives safe and sound. In 10 hours, I'm taking my other flight to my next destination where my family live. If you like this general review of Turkish Airlines, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.